Hi there, it's Pete Thorne. Welcome to my studio. Earlier this year, I got a hold of a Kemper Profiler. Here it is sitting beside me on the desk. Uh, I've been meaning to do something with it for a long time, uh, demo-wise. Um, some touring commitments I had this year and other things have kept me from really digging into it. So I finally got to spend uh, some good time with it over the last couple of weeks. And I really like it, first of all. And second of all, I learned a few things about it. Uh, basically, through trying the profiles that come with the unit, making some of my own, and then also uh, trying some that I found on the internet, and trying some made by my friend Michael Britt in Nashville, I discovered that the camper is really all about the profile. So your experience with it and what you think of it will be greatly colored by the quality of the profiles you use. Uh, it, the unit is really dependent on, on the profiles. And uh, these ones that Michael Britt sent to me are absolutely fantastic. They just sound great. There's not a bad one in the bunch. And, you know, he's a guy that's got a, a legendary career as a, a, a Nashville guitarist, been in the band Lone Star for a long, long time, really knows how to dial in amps. He's a terrific player, knows how to mic amps. So it stands to reason that his profiles would be great. And sure enough, they are. So you guys know I sit here all day long, tweak out on guitar sounds, dial in amps and pedals and move mics on cabs. And it's very time consuming, labor intensive. So it was really nice for me to just dial up these profiles on the camper that Michael made and scroll through them and just sit there and play and feel like I could just create and not have to worry about the tone for a change because the tones were so cool. So I thought, what a great opportunity to kind of demonstrate the Kemper and also demonstrate Michael's profiles for you. I'll just record a full song using only his profiles with very little tweaking going on or anything like that. Basically, what you're going to hear coming out of the unit is what you can get when you get uh, Michael's profiles for the Kemper. So here's my song. It's called To Live and Die in Nashville. I just finished it today, <laughs> and I hope you dig it. And uh, after the song, uh, I'll tell you a little bit more about uh, Michael's profiles and which ones I used and whatnot. Okay, here we go. <laughs>
And there you have it, To Live and Die in Nashville. I hope you enjoyed that song. I had a lot of fun making it. I called it that because I always had a joke that uh, if I had to move to Nashville, I would starve and die. I always used to say that because, uh, you know, you'd walk down the street there and uh, stick your head in these little bars and there'd be some dude in there just melting faces with his guitar playing. I was always like, oh my God, like, I think I'm going to stay in L.A. So, anyway, let's talk about some of the profiles that I used in that song. Uh, Basically, the rhythm guitar part, uh, that was a divided by 13, 915 EL84 profile, and just love that sound. For the little uh, Zeppelin-y uh, pre-chorus parts, I used a little Walter amp profiles, two different ones, I think, and uh, that was really cool as well. Um, I used the Vibro King profile, one of those, for uh, uh, some rhythm guitar parts in the bridge. I used uh, the one of the Dumble profiles uh, for uh, the lead guitar parts that sound kind of more round and warm, and then the kind of more martially straight up aggressive part uh, solo that uh, is over the bridge section. Uh, I used a PT100 profile, actually my signature amp from Sir. Uh, on that part, I added a Univibe in the Kemper, and uh, just love the way that sounded. I dig the Univibe in the Kemper. Now that that's one of the only uh, changes I made to Michael's sounds. Uh, basically, uh, you know, as I dialed them up, that's as you hear them in the song. I might add a little bass or a little treble or presence or something, or cut the gain or boost the gain, but uh, you know, they sound so good. I, I just dial them up and then cut the part. And that was really how I did it. Uh, so, so that's it, you know, I'm still getting to, to know the Kemper and I uh, really like it, it's a lot of fun, it's a terrific tool, and I can't stress enough, Michael Britt's uh, profiles just make the thing that much more fun and usable and such a great tool. Uh, he's, he's really uh, done some terrific work, so please check out his profiles, you can uh, check them out at the website you see on your screen there. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't, I really appreciate it, come back and see me for uh, some more videos real soon. I am Pete Thorne, and I wish you well, take care. Mm -hmm.